everyone, welcome to Wow Toys by Ice Lighting. In this video, I'm going to cover the Wintervale toys, where you get them from, what they do, and any achievements that are related to them. So most of them you will find if you type in a Wintervale in your toy box, but there are a bunch that you won't find that way. An example of which is the festive transdimensional whistle, which is one of the new ones this year. It comes from the stolen present and it will make Peep appear, or Pepe, however you want to say it, in a festive sled and he will follow you around, which is pretty cute and pretty cool. Next up, we're going to do the disposable Wintervale outfits. So this one is from the stolen present again. It puts down a box on the floor that anyone can click on and you get a festive outfit. They don't have to be in your party or raid. Anyone can click on it. So it's just something you put on the floor, which is all good. So next up is Great Father Winter's Hearthstone. So it's basically a hearthstone with a different effect. So the Winter Veil one is snow and you dance. Comes from the stolen present again. Also coming from the Stubbleman present, you are looking at the fuzzy green lounge chair cushion. So basically it's a giant beanbag that you sit on, but be careful, you can't attack or do anything. You've got to press the exit button before you can then do any actions. So make sure you get off of it when something spawns. So the other chairs that you can get is the pineapple lounge chair, again, exactly the same thing. The safari lounge chair looks like this. And the final one is um, the zebra or what we would call a zebra lounge chair, all from the stolen present. Next up, there's two different types of hearth station, one for Horde and one for Alliance. So I'll put the Alliance one down, it is blue, the Horde one is red, that's the only difference. Once you put it down, you've got a couple of action buttons that you can use to make things do things, but other than that, it's pretty boring. Um, but you can see here, here are the different actions, although part of mine's gone through the floor. I won't bother showing you the Horde, because literally it's exactly the same thing both versions which come from the stolen present. So still from the stolen present, you can get the tiny blue ragdoll. So quite literally, it's a tiny blue ragdoll. It's like so small. Um, and you can see that one here. It just places it on the floor um, and it's blue and kind of scary. So obviously there is a green version. So this is the tiny green one, which is separate obviously um again both of these from the stolen present and that is what they both look like kind of scary next up then we will put the red wooden set down again stolen present you really need somebody to pull you around on this um you can sit around waiting for somebody to pull you around they don't have to be in a group but most people ignore you and you just sort of start looking sad so next up, the scroll of storytelling. Again, it comes from the stolen present. And when you click on it, it changes everything around you for the next two minutes um, to look like you're in a storybook, which is kind of cool. I kind of like it, um, but that's it. So then we are gonna move on to a wild holly. Now the wild holly lasts for an hour. It basically means whenever you mount, you have a mount that looks like a reindeer. And obviously if you get bored of it, you can remove the buff, but it um, that's what it does. So on to toys that have achievements related to them. The Wintervale Disguise Kit that Great Father Winter gives you after you save Mitzen um, gives you an achievement called a Frosty Shake as long as you use it in Dalaran with somebody else and dance with them. You need a snowball before you can use it, so grab a snowball when you're killing the Grinch. So when you use the kit, this is what happens, you turn into a snowman. Now. You need to be in Dalaran, you need to find somebody else doing it, do it together and dance, and then you'll get the achievement for that one. So next up, there's a faction specific one called a caroling, we will go and all you need to do is go and use your choir book or your chorus book in each of the opposition's um, main cities. So your chorus book, when you click on it, again, this comes from the stolen present, um, produces, you know, tunes above your head. All you need to do is go and do it in the listed cities for the opposing faction. So next up, this achievement is just for having it, and that is at least you're being careful. So this is the toy armor set. Now you get one for Horde and one for Alliance. So this is the Alliance one I'm wearing. You can see that you get a faction cloak and a faction helm. The Horde is obviously the same the other way around, comes from the stolen present. Don't play with that in the house. Again, same thing, faction specific. You either have the um, Horde version or the Alliance version or both if you're me. And this one, again, it's the achievement just for having them. And it looks like this. You get a weapon that's related to your faction and a shield that's related to your faction. Again, comes from the stolen present. 
So next up, again, just for having it, is Crashing and Splashing. So this is the um, Alliance version of the battleship. So you can see here it is a blue ship and it you use it like a little remote control ship and it drives around and fires things and does things. So that's the Alliance version of it and the Horde version of it looks like this. Again, you get both of these from the Stolen Present, depending on which faction you are as to which one you might end up with, but it is still a chance. So next up, there's two achievements related to this one. There's one just for having the Crashing and Thrashing Racer, but there is also one for hitting 25 people with it. It comes from the Stolen Present and it looks like this. Now if red's not your colour, do not worry, there is a blue version also coming from the Stolen Present and it is still um, used for the achievement for having it and for attacking the 25 people. So you can get both versions. Next up there is an achievement called the Danger Zone and this is related to the Crashing Thrashing Flyer controller. So basically this toy comes from a stolen present and if you have it you just need to shoot down somebody else's. So you'll need somebody else to help you with this one in order to get that completed. Now there's an achievement called Mini Zep Controller and that's all you need to do is have it. So uh, once you have that again stolen present it flies around like this and it's just really a little mini zeppelin. On to the next one then. This one is called the Both Footballs and this one requires you to own the special edition football and the pigskin. So the special edition football, um, again, this comes from the stolen present or you can buy it from a toy keeper. Check the end of the video for that one. And basically what you do is you can kick it to somebody else and they can kick it back. The same with the pigskin, just point it towards somebody and they will kick it back if they are able to. Next up, the achievement just for having it is brr, it's cold in here. So all you need to do is get the blaster from the stolen present. Now, what does the blaster do? Well, it is sort of like a gun that fires stuff. So when you use it, it sprays out snow. Now, if you actually manage to hit somebody, which I was failing miserably, you'll see a little um, reaction like that one just did. And that one now has snow on his head. I tried again with that one, still didn't work. But you can see the one that I did get now has a snow cloud on their head. Next up again just for having is flying festivities and all you need to do is have the wreath orang which comes from a stolen present. Now throwing it at somebody on a mount they cannot throw it back. You need to throw it to somebody that is on the ground and you can see here the first person I threw it at didn't work so the next one I'm throwing it at somebody not mounted and it returns it. That is all it does. Next up then, the Crashing and Thrashing Shredder. Again, it's just for having it. So the Crashing and Thrashing Shredder, again, stolen present. And it looks like this when you summon it. So you get to run around with a little shredder. So the next one is the Rocking and Rolling Racer. You get an achievement just for having it. And there is also an achievement called Rock and Roll for it. You get this one from the Stolen Present again. Now, all you need to do for this one is summon your uh, Rocking and Rolling Racer um, customized thing. Customize it if you want or just summon it. It really doesn't matter. It's up to you. So once you summon it in order to get the achievement, all you need to do is hit the tunes button followed by the nitro. Now, if you haven't got the achievement, that is when it will ding. So the next one I've left in, but I'm not 100% sure you can still get it. So the achievement is to catch falling stars. Now you got the glove last year if you logged in. There is an achievement to catch 100 stars using it. So I have linked the video to how to do that um, from last year, but I'm not 100% sure whether you can still get this now from the stolen present. So this one might not be attainable right now. So next up we have two achievements. There is an achievement just for owning the Crashing Thrashing Flamer, which drops from the Stolen Present. And there is an achievement called the Iron Armada, which involves you having that one and four others. Now the four others do not come from the Stolen Present. You will need to get them separately. So this is what this one actually looks like, the little flame tower. And then I will show you where to get the other four. So that is your tower. Now the Killdozer comes from your garrison, WOD garrison. You will be able to buy it from the um, 
Wintervale vendor. The other three, you need to make your way to the Tenarian jungle, and there are three Christmas rares that will appear up here. Now, during the Christmas period, they drop the toys. Each one of them drops a different toy. So don't keep farming the same one. You need to farm all three in order to get all toys for the Iron Armada. So the last achievement we're going to cover is there's always a bigger train. This one takes a little bit of planning. So you need to have the toy train set and the wind up train wrecker. Both come from the stolen present or you can buy them. Again, I'll go through that in a second. You need to make your way to Gorgon and you need to enter the raid, the black foundry so you're gonna have to make sure your rate is set to anything basically but you can do it on normal make your way through to the operator and then put both those toys somewhere on a bar that you can reach them relatively quickly so on the first train track is where you want to be placing your toy train so when you put it down you will make a cool train noise and a little train will run around on a track now you want to walk into this guy don't hit him because you're gonna kill him real quick if you're level 70 just aggro him and make your way back to your train now what you're waiting for here is the first train that's going to come along now what you need to do is make sure the wrecker which is the other toy is killed by it so as soon as you see it coming place your wrecker down and get out the way your wrecker will go and kill the toy train however it will then be murdered by the big train and that is how you get that achievement real dead simple now if you're missing any of those toys that I mentioned and possibly ones I didn't mention make your way to Legion Dalaran you will find a toy shop and in here you will be able to pick up some of the toys if you haven't had any luck in the presents so you can pick up both the footballs if you need any of those you can pick up the clockwork robot for the um, pets you can pick up the air rifle that's needed for another achievement but it doesn't class as a toy you can pick up the blue crashing and thrashing control you can also pick up both the rag dolls if you're missing those and this is where you can get your toy train and your train wrecker if you don't have those and want the achievements. So I hope you found this video useful. As always, thanks for watching and subscribe to see what else I'm up to.